you know, not enough playmaking on our part. You got to also tip your cap to the Ravens. They made the necessary plays, particularly Humphreys, man. That's a big time play he made on uh, overtime and punching that ball out. Um, you know, we had our chances in the game. I thought the first half of the game was a field position game, uh, really kind of controlled by their special teams. Um, you know, there were some turnovers in the first half, but both defenses were stiff. Um, we, we had a couple of turnovers, got six points. I think they had one and got three. Um, I just thought the special teams element of play created a field position game in the first half. That was tough for us to deal with. And then um, in the second half, man, it was about that critical playmaking. I thought we made our share. I'm um, obviously not enough. Um, that's how the game goes. Um, from an injury standpoint, Mason Rudolph is out with a concussion. Uh, James Washington had an AC uh, shoulder injury. And Mark Barron had a hamstring. Um, I'll have more information about the details regarding those guys and others um, on Tuesday when we normally meet. Um, if I want to just give a synopsis, man, um, it's painful, as it should be. Um, you know, tough, hard for a game. Um, you know, we'll do what we normally do uh, and assess it and prepare for our next opportunity. We won't blink. We won't make excuses for our current state. We won't seek sympathy for our current state. Uh, all of the things that are associated with our current state, we know and understand. Uh, we're professionals. We're capable of enduring it. We better get prepared for our next opportunity in the midst of it. And so that's the messaging. Uh, that's the mentality. Questions? On Mason's injury, um, do you know why he had to stand up and kind of walk off the way he did while, while the cart was out there? Ask somebody that's in charge of that. I don't drive carts and things of that nature. How did Hodge just do being thrown into that? You know, I thought he represented himself well. Um, he, he gave us a chance and um, got to tip your cap to him. You're talking about a guy that didn't make our opening 53 and all of those things. We know his story. But you also got to acknowledge that he's done some good things at every step along the way through the team development process when given an opportunity. And that's why he's in the position that he's in. That's probably why he, you know, made the positive showing in spots that he did today. I know that you don't believe in moral victories, but you're right. You, I don't. Are you proud of your defense? Those the way they respond. You're right. I don't. Why, why kick off and overtime? Man, did you see our kickoff return in this football game? Did you see their kickoff team? Every time they put the ball on about the two-yard line and Tucker hung the ball at about 4.5 seconds, and we couldn't get back to the 15. Why would I sign up for that? I put the defense on the field in an effort to fight for field position and put the onus on them to get the stop. So when we got the ball, we got it on the 30-something, which is dramatically different than when our kickoff return team took the field all afternoon. Anyone else? The, the Wildcat, I mean, did, did you guys pretty much abandon that because of the lack of success? We had no intentions of utilizing it a lot today anyway. Like we talked about after last week, man, it's gimmicky. You know, it's something to level the playing field. It's an asset in spurts. And so, you know, it was what it was. Obviously, I wish we didn't have the turnover in it. Uh, but it wasn't a large part of our plan this week anyway. Was that just a good play by Humphrey, or did Juju do anything in there that maybe let him Like play? I said, man, that's an excellent play by Humphrey. 